All right, welcome back to the next part. Here we're going to look at uh, some worksheets about series and parallel circuits and run through those uh, examples quickly. Again, we ask that you answer the posted questions uh, on this video below. All right, correctly identify the type of circuit as series or parallel. So what I like to do is just draw my flow. And so this has got to flow through those wires in that direction. So there's only one flow or one current. That is a series. All right, and so here we have a battery and a couple of lights. Still only one flow, so it is a series. Now here, I know it may be difficult for you to see, but we can see that we have a flow through here. There's one flow. We also have a second flow, so that is parallel, okay? And this is our standard example over here. We got, there's I1, I2, and I3. More than one path. Again, now we have found a parallel. According to the conventional flow, electricity flows from conventional. Which side has got the electricity on? The positive side. So from positive to the negative. Draw arrows to show the conventional flow. So what we need to do here is we need to show that the long side of this little model here, so this is a representation of a voltage source. This is our positive, and that side's our negative. So our electricity would flow from the positive to the negative. That is our conventional flow. So we go over here, positive, negative. We just draw a little loop, showing that the flow goes in that direction. Okay, now here we have two, so this is a parallel circuit. So we have, flow right there, we can label that I1. Then we have this flow down here, this is I2. This one's a little bit different. Again, the long side being our positive, and this being our negative, the flow goes here, conventional flow. And then it goes in that direction at the top. Still, this could be I1, and this is I2. So you have more than one current. Uh, up here, you just have I1. And I1, what that tells us is that in series, they're always the same current. But in parallel, there are multiple currents because there are multiple paths. Let's talk about which one would have the brightest bulb right here. It's an important advantage and disadvantage of both types of circuits. So we start off with a series circuit with two bulbs. Okay? We're going to assume that each of these batteries is the same voltage. So here we have a circuit, two batteries, uh, wired in series. So that means the voltage is going to go up. Two batteries, more voltage. Two batteries, one light bulb. Two batteries, two light bulbs. Well, two batteries, one light bulb is going to be brighter than two batteries, two light bulbs. One battery, three light bulbs. So if we're looking at the amount of voltage versus current, and the higher the current, the, the brighter the bulb's going to be. So we got two light bulb, two excuse me, two batteries, one light bulb, brightest. Let's find the dimmest. What do you think is going to be the dimmest? Lowest voltage, greatest number of resistors. Lowest voltage, one battery three light bulbs. So this is going to be the dimmest. Okay? So what do we think is going to be glowing normal? Glowing normal would be equal voltage, equal number of resistors in this case. So two batteries, two light bulbs, that's probably normal. One battery for one light bulb. So this is normal. That means that this is going to be a little bit dimmer. And then finally, if you add a third, dimmest. So dim, brightest, uh, normal, dimmer, and then finally the dimmest. So in a series surface, as you add batteries, the voltage goes up. But as you add resistors, the current would go down. Only in a series, not a parallel. All right, so explain why they have different brightness. I uh, just reviewed that. You can uh, answer that question. List two advantages and disadvantages, and so we'll post those questions and you can respond through. 
uh, our online activity. All right, identify the parallel circuit that would have the greatest amount of resistance. Now, a parallel circuit, remember, parallel circuits like your home. And it's dangerous to plug in too many things into one outlet. So that tells me that the more resistors I add, the resistance on the total system must be going down. So identify the parallel that would have the greatest amount of resistance. That's the one with the most things plugged into it. So this one has two resistors. This one has three. Draw the conventional flow. Conventional flow from positive to negative. Positive and negative, there's I1, I2, I3, more than one path. All right, so again, these questions you can work on in a parallel circuit as the number of resistors increases, the overall flow or current in a system increases. Which would have more current? The one with more current would be the one with the most resistors. One advantages of a parallel circuit is that the voltage is constant. If a battery in each diagram is 6 volt, what would the voltage be at each light bulb? Well, if the voltage is constant, and what do we say about your home? Every outlet has the same voltage. List two advantages, disadvantages, and so you can work on that uh, through the online activity. <clears throat> 